Bonjour. Today we're going to talk about making yes or no questions, or yes and no questions. So there's really just four easy ways to do this. The first way is by far the easiest. All you have to do is just change the pitch of your voice. So instead of, elle aime la pizza, she likes pizza, you could say, elle aime la pizza, and you go up at the end, and it becomes a question. That's it. First way to make a question. Um, yes or no question. Second way to make a yes or no question is to add esque at the beginning. So you take a complete sentence and you put esque at the top. Now you should remember this. We already talked about it when we learned être. It's is it. So it's is it that. Now our literal translation isn't really going to help us. We don't usually just translate it. It's, it's almost like the upside down question mark that comes at the beginning of a sentence in Spanish, that's kind of what this is doing. You're just, you're, you don't really need to translate it, but it's telling you what's happening. A question's coming up, okay? So you would add esque to um, a sentence, L M la pizza. And because we have a vowel here, we're going to make a contraction. We're going to take out that first E on the Q, and we're going to put an apostrophe, and we're going to push it together. Ask Elena pizza. Does she like pizza? Okay. Second way to make a question. Third way to make a question is you take that same statement. L M. She likes pizza. And you put Nespa at the end. Which is like saying, oh, again, we have is it. Is it not? Isn't it? It's like saying, right? We could also put d'accord, which literally means okay. Um, now, d'accord, it would depend on the context. So we're not going to say she likes, the, she likes pizza, okay? No, that doesn't really make sense. Um, but if you were saying, do you want to go to the park? That's a yes or no question. So you could say... Or, um, no, it might be more like, let's go to the park, okay? Instead of, would you like for us to go to the park? You could just say, let's go to the park, okay? D'accord? That's all. Um, n'est-ce pas, you're going, you could use a whole lot more often. Like, she likes pizza, um, you like, uh, you like hamburgers? Okay, I could say, j'aime les hamburgers? Est-ce que tu aimes les hamburgers? Tu aimes les hamburgers, n'est-ce pas? Like, again, okay wouldn't work. But use that when okay in English would work in, in English, it would also work in French. The last group is the, the trickiest, but again, not too, not too bad. It's just our inversion, which means we flip the subject and a verb. Now, normally, we have our subject and then a verb. Our subject and then a verb. The subject comes first followed by the verb, just like in English. But we can do an inversion. And we've already seen this with comment tu t'appelles? And we can do that. Tu comes first, our subject, followed by appel, our verb. But we can flip it as well. So again, let me show you here. Comment tu t'appelles? subject, verb, but I can flip it and do an inversion and say, comment t'appelles, and I put a dash here, so now I have the verb first followed by the subject, that's all it is, that's all it is, so let's go back to our does she like pizza question, okay, so instead of L M la pizza, we have M L la pizza. Now there's one trick to this here, and it's that if uh, this ends in a vowel, this verb ends in a vowel, and here we have with E or L, we need to put R T, and that's just because of pronunciation. We don't want to say ML la pizza. That's all. Okay, it doesn't change the meaning. We just put the T in there. So now it's M la pizza. 
And one trick to that is if I was going to say, if I hadn't said L to begin with, maybe I said Sylvette and la pizza. Sylvette. Sylvette. And I have her name. M. La pizza. I could not do an inversion just with Sylvette. I could not say M. Sylvette la pizza. I would have to add in a, so I could say Sylvette M. Tell la pizza, and that would work. Okay? I would just have to add in the L. I cannot do an inversion with a name there. Okay? I do that with the il or the L and also il el crujial. 